What's up, my friends? Isn't this the most beautiful day that you're experiencing, my friend? See, I don't care what the external looks like outside. You gotta be thankful, my friend, that you're able to experience such beauty, such amazement, my friend. If you really sit back and really admire God's perfect creation, it'll do something different to you, my friend. So welcome to today, my friend, today. It's your day, my friend, but here's the thing. Do you really believe that? Because if you do, then it's yours. It is yours, my friend, but if you don't, if you don't, my friend, then you got some work to do, right? But I'm gonna help you. I don't just come with problems. I come with solutions, my friend. I got a question for you first, right? You ever been in a place in life, right, where you grown, grown now. So you tired of all the nonsense. You, 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 you tired of all the, you know, the little stuff. You ain't trying, you ain't being hoodwinked. Nobody can trick you. You own your life, right? And you got a lot going on, but you're determined to get it done. You're determined to cross the finish line, right? But things is just getting heavier and heavier and heavier, my friend, but you're resilient. And you made a vow to yourself and a vow to God that you're not going to quit, right? But now it feels like you're out of alignment and it feels like you're doing a lot, moving real fast and not really going nowhere, really not going nowhere. It feels like you're running on the treadmill, right? So something's got to give. And it may be you if you're not careful, if you don't do the right thing at this point, right? But we don't want to look like a quitter and we don't want to disappoint the people around us and also ourselves so sometimes we hold on too long to our own detriment but when you're in that situation my friend and when you assess it and you realize that you're out of alignment sometimes my friend it's best it's in your best interest just count your losses accept the losses and let it go, my friend. Sometimes it's not worth it if it's doing too much to you. Because what good is attaining it? And if, if it kills you, you can't even enjoy it. That's why many people that hit the lottery, they're broke in five years and they commit suicide. You know why? Because to many people, you think that all those millions, hundreds of millions was going to be a, a blessing. And it is a blessing. But if you don't have a money mindset. A fool and their money soon depart. If you don't have a money mindset, the money's going to flee, my friend, fast, right? So here's the thing. Sometimes, my friend, you simply got to just count your losses and let it all go, right? And here's the thing. You got to know life. So if I were to sum up some of the most difficult parts of life in two terms, right? I'm talking about the most difficult aspects of life that we all have to go through that nobody can avoid, right? The first one would be pain management, right? Because we're forced to manage pain. And the second is acceptance, right? And here's why. I pick pain management because life forces us to manage pain that we do not think we deserve. Life forces us to manage pain that we do not think we deserve. It's almost like we feel like we're getting cheated and we're stuck with the pain, but that's the essential part of life, my friend. And the second is acceptance. See, life forces us all to accept the things that we cannot change. That's why it's in our best interest to only focus on controlling the controllables. So what that means is you only focus on controlling what you can control. The things that allow you to have access and control, that's what you focus on controlling. Everything else, you just gotta accept as is, my friend. But here's the thing, wherever in your life that there is internalized, unresolved internalized conflict, pain in other words, right? And it, it, it most often comes from the negative emotions. Jealousy, envy, unforgiveness, self-torment, guilt, self-torture, all these things. Whatever, whatever caused you to have an internalized pain that you're bucking, that you refuse to manage and release, right? 
it's all contributing, my friend. Wherever there's unresolved pain in your life, it's because you fail to manage and release that pain, my friend. No other reason, my friend. You gotta get in your own mind or get out of your own mind to give you access to that thing. Dig through all of those, those all of those borders that you put up trying to bury it internally because it's not going away. All it's doing is sitting inside of you, hiding, gaining momentum. So whenever it reemerges, it's gonna hit you like a Mike Tyson hook, my friend. So go ahead and attack it and release it, my friend. And here's three reasons why you gotta let it go, right? Number one, let me caution you, my friend. That same pain, right? That same internalized conflict, right? That same barrier that's sitting up inside of you that, that interrupts all your joy. That same pain, right? Is the same pain that's blocking your emotional harmony and keeping you stuck like Chuck and mental bondage, my friend. It's all up to you, my friend. It's all about pain management and acceptance, but it's very humbling, my friend. So if you're prideful, if, you, if you're thinking too highly of yourself, if you're trying to front for the people, if you're trying to portray a perception for the people, you're not gonna get to that point because you're focused on the wrong things, my friend. Never forget, we are spiritual beings here living on earth, having a spiritual experience. We're not just physical beings here. Living. No, we're spiritual beings having a spiritual experience. The only way you come out of the spirit into the physical, the only way you come out of the spirit into the physical, into the natural, is when you're operating through ego and pride, my friend. So that's the same emotions, ego and pride, that's gonna prevent you from managing that pain and releasing that pain, my friend, and accepting the things that you can't change. Because the pride is making you think too highly of yourself, my friend. Listen, we all gotta get down or lay down at some point in life, my friend, even you, right? And number two, right? Here's the beautiful thing. Accepting the things that you cannot change, right? It does magic for you once you can humble yourself and accept it. It gives you power to change your perception of those very things, right? So in other words, it gives you power over those things. In other words, it actually changes the very things that you didn't think you could conquer. Because when you change your perception, you change the way you look at it, you change the way you feel about it. So in essence, you change the very thing, my friend, but it starts with humility, my friend. Did I tell you that it's all about, the hardest things in life is all about managing pain that you do not think you deserve and accepting the things that you cannot change, my friend. And number three, you gotta develop a greatness mindset. A mind bold enough to believe, right? That check this out, you ain't gonna believe me when I tell you that. I promise you, you ain't gonna believe me, but life is perfect, my friend, check that out. Life is perfect. So the very thing you're going through right now is perfect. It's happening for you, not to you, regardless of what it look like or feel like, but you gotta believe it. You gotta accept it, my friend. Life is perfect, but it's our imperfect nature as human beings that makes it difficult for us to accept, my friend. Don't operate through pride and ego, my friend. Humble yourself, because all these people out here that you think are operating out of pride and ego, because you're judging them from the external, you never know what's in their heart, my friend. They could be the most humblest people in the world. They could be the most giving, serving people in the world, but you never know, because you're judging them from the external and you're comparing yourself to them, and you already know what comparison is. It's the thief of joy, my friend. As long as you're comparing yourself to other people, you will never reach the mark that God has set for you. And here's why. Because competing against other people is a waste of time because you cannot measure the opponent's effort. So in essence, you can't measure your growth when you compete against other people. Only compete with other people, but never compete against other people. You know who you need to compete with, my friend? The person in the mirror, my friend, is you against you, my friend. And never forget why you're competing against yourself, that you were born to be great.